I've been vacillating, I'll say, a bit, maybe an incy bit, um, and knowing that I've had to contribute some words regarding this um, magnanimous phenomenon, uh, the Black Panther, and uh, correlate that with the activities of people of African heritage, uh, whom we refer to as first world ascendants and uh, African ascendants. Uh, the reason we have to be specific regarding words is uh, my people, our people, countless people have been programmed uh, to utilize uh, language and words which really don't pertain to us. Uh, others have created um, adjectives to define us and to misdefy us. So uh, the first thing I want people to know about is we are ascending. Uh, as time moves forward, as time moves upward, uh, we are ascending, not descending. So I'm not a descendant of anybody. I'm ascending. I will always be that, even if ain't nobody else going to be that. So anyway, whatever. Um, the um, reality of what we're experiencing now as Marvel Comics is getting ready to rake in a phenomenal dough, billions of dollars, uh, which proves the spending power of African ascendants, the money-making power of first world ascendants. Oh, I'm, I have to give an aside. The reason we say first world is because the continent, not country as George Bush said it is, and probably uh, some people's president believes it's a country, but the continent of Africa is where life began. Yes. Anthropologists, biologists, scientists, and any other uh, individuals roaming around or whatever and studying and digging and everything went over into those shitholes uh, uh, to um, establish their power. So um, it's important for individuals to know I'm just going off. I'm getting, I have to calm myself. It's important for individuals to know where life began is the first world. It is not the third world. And the first world is where um, hmm, Europeans, Caucasians, white people, colonizers, rapists, pillagers, uh, thieves, Individuals stealing humans uh, have gone over to um, dig in those shitholes and bring forth diamonds, sapphires, jewels, um, minerals, and um, oh my God, I totally I can't. I'm not remembering right now, but the very. Uh, 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 Mineral that is used to for everybody to have their cell phones, and so I myself, me myself personally, I am thrilled uh, to be an ascendant of that shithole, of those shitholes. I, I I say that because it is important for individuals to remember uh, uh, from whence we originated. <coughs> Uh, our ancestors, ones who were in this land that I refer to as the un-United States, uh, came here enslaved, beaten, branded, burned, hung, just abused to build this land and yet are being referenced as shiftless, low lives, nothing, 
you know, never contributed anything of value except life itself. So um, I'm going back to the Black Panther. This mythic Wakanda created and presented through Marvel Comics. And Marvel is becoming tremendously wealthy as a result of you people spending money. They have their own universe. It's Marvel Universe. Yeah, spending money uh, so that you can visit, travel to, and experience what will be the most beautiful tribute humans of first world ascendancy on this planet. Planet Earth which spins within universe without human compulsion or permission. All of y'all are going out and that's important. However, what it also tells you is how powerful you are. You will see a movie which will contribute to you experiencing an inner joy which allows you the privilege of knowing that your brain, you only have one brain, you don't have brains in one head, you have a head with a brain, that your brain will begin to experience ecstasy. And also, your soul will uh, vibrate and give you uh, uh, the closeness, the comprehension of unity as you uh, watch together and all of you who are gathering to watch together uh, to see this marvelous film. And if you can spend money that way, what can you do to make your life better? What will you do to make your children's life better? What will you do to contribute to your community in the ununited States and to your international community? The Chinese are benefiting from going into the first world shitholes to take whatever it is they can take. And pretty soon, if nobody is watching, the first world will become an extension of China and then become China. So allow Wakanda to be a wake-up sign, a bell. Ding, ding, ding. I don't have a bell. I should have had a bell to ring. <laughs> to wake y'all. To rise you. And I'm not saying rise up. Because when you rise, you're automatically going up. This is evolving time, children. So, mother is being given the strength oh my god the strength to encourage you to not allow yourselves to be affected to be moved to be swayed by any of this ignorance that's coming from these individuals deeming themselves quote leaders unquote and they're not your leaders so this is Awakening time, rise you sleeping giants. And it matters not your size, it matters not your height, it matters not the beautiful skin tones you are breathing the divine aliveness of God most high within that physical body temple in which the divine aliveness of most high is breathing itself being you. What matters is what you going to do with your life? So, 
Wakanda is likened to a wake-up call. Actually, the first three letters is wake. So, Wakanda. Wake up, children. Rise, children. You have the authority to be fearless. Because once you see this movie, it's going to be individuals coming from here, there, any and everywhere, attempting and or trying, quote unquote, to disturb your willingness to evolve. This is evolving time. This is no time to be uh, fallen by the wayside and, and, quote, attempting and or trying, unquote, to roll in the muck in the mire and waiting for Jesus to come. Baby, listen, I'm telling you that this resurrection is being televised. It's being in your face. Thank God for Wakanda. Thank God for Ryan Coogler. Thank God for Ruth E. Carter. Thank God for, for Michael B. Jordan. Thank God for, 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 or for Brother Bozeman. Thank God for all these children. Forrest Whitaker, Angela Bassett. Thank God for these sister warriors. Actually, um, oh God, I'm getting ready to cause a problem. But um, one time when I was in Kemet, they were creating an acknowledgement for Mormar Gaddafi. And he had women warriors riding on white horses. That's all I'm saying. I think I'm about done now. Wakanda, that's it, baby. Mythic and magical. <laughs>